So essentially, in this video, we are going to be going over exactly how you can start your very own AI model, build them up on social media, and then monetize their content on spicy pages such as OnlyFans, FanView, etc. So if you are new here, you're probably thinking, what the fuck is an AI OnlyFans model? And is this even legal? Well, don't worry, don't feel stupid. I've heard that all before, and it's a completely natural reaction. What we're gonna do is go back to where we started and explain from there. So essentially, where we started is managing OnlyFans models. Now, you get a lot of problems with OnlyFans models. A lot of them are lazy. A lot of them have tantrums and you have a lot of issues with them. They don't make enough content, etc. And the thing is, they're not as motivated as you are to make money. They're just kind of happy to not have a job and to do whatever they want during the day. So they don't actually want to make the maximum amount of money, which is obviously your aim because you're running a business as an OnlyFans management agency. So when AI started to pop off beginning of last year, 2023, I had a lot of friends who also own businesses in other sectors. And essentially, they were automating a lot of processes in their businesses which involved AI. So what I wanted to do was somehow involve AI into my business. And I started to think, not only if I could automate the more boring parts, such as the marketing, um, sending out emails, onboarding calls, things like that, all that could be automated, but also the models themselves. Imagine, imagine the capabilities of an AI only fans model. So this is basically where the idea come across. And we worked on it, we worked on it, and eventually we made something that looked like this. Now on the screen now is one of our first AI OnlyFans models. We started it at the start of last year. And to be honest, it looks pretty shit. Now, did it sell very well? No, but we had a starting point. We had a starting point where we could work off and we could essentially replicate what real OnlyFans models were making. And if we could do that on a higher scale and a higher quality, we could then turn this into an actual business. So we started to get excited at this point. Now, if you see on your screen now, these are the type of models that we can currently make. So as you can see, it's a lot higher quality. We can do it at a higher efficiency and we have whole teams that are making this content and running this content as their own business. So yeah, basically now we can create the highest quality AI content. In fact, it's higher quality than a lot of OnlyFans models can make. And we can make it on mass scale with teams of people who are making this 24 hours around the clock whatever content we want, wherever in the world you want that model to be, however you want it to look. And uh, yeah, business has never been better. Right, so we're back home now. And as you can see on the screen, these are some of our recent student results. Now, these in itself should act as a testament that this works. Now, legally in the UK, yes, we do have to disclose that the model is AI. Now, I know what you're thinking. Does this damage sales? Is this going to affect the business? And surely people don't subscribe if they know it's AI, right? Well, this is where it gets confusing because as proven in this video here, people are actually starting to prefer content that is not real. Absolutely mental, but it exists. And we prove it in our analytics video that was just shown on the screen. So go check that out if you are still unsure on these statistics. So now, we're going to show you how you can actually generate your own AI model and start to print cash for yourself. So welcome to another tutorial on how to make a basic model. Now this is an online generation platform. This is level one or tier one when it comes to generating AI models. You can use other advanced platforms to get better quality models. However, it does require a lot more education and a lot more skill, which we're not going to be able to go into that much depth on this video. But if you want to get the basic models, I can show you how to do that now. It takes 30 seconds and can produce a fairly good quality model. So firstly, you come to this platform here called Gemfluence. You start off by clicking the advanced section because that's going to give you the best quality of model. You are then going to select what style of model or image you want to generate. This you select epic. After this, you can have a character. If you have a character pre-selected, that's absolutely fine. That's gonna help increase the quality of the model's face. Luckily for you, I've already got a model saved and ready to go. So I've selected that character. This is then gonna have a small description of the character's appearance. Next, we're gonna go into the prompts and the negative prompts. The positive prompts are there to tell the AI what you want to generate, and the negative prompts are there to tell the AI what you do not want to generate. 
Gemfluence is a helpful platform that often already has negative prompts installed, so most of the time you don't need to worry about missing legs or cross-eyed or anything like that because it's already in the negative prompts. However, if you ever did want to add to this, then feel free because it will help with your AI generation. The positive prompts though, this is what you want in the image. Luckily for you, I've already got some saved. This is a very basic prompt that you can use to generate a decent image. If you wanna expand the prompt to look a lot more complex like the negative prompt, then that's just gonna get you a better image. But for now, I'm quite lazy, so I wanna just put out a basic prompt like that. Coming further down, you then want to select the ratio of the image. This is gonna be going on Instagram, so I'm selecting the Instagram one. Then you wanna select a seed. This is basically gonna be the DNA of your model. Now, the seed, you're not just going to be able to generate straight away. You're going to have to do a few trials or merge a few models together to be able to make a decent seed, which we can obviously talk you through at a later stage. But I've already got a seed prepared for you, and that seed is also correlated to the character that I've got selected. After this, you click Generate. Now, you can increase the quantity of images you can generate per go, and you can also increase this CFG number, which is basically how you want the AI to listen to these prompts that you've put up here. But I just want to create one simple image based on this prompt here. So this is what the AI has generated. Now this, once again, is a tier one generation system. So it's very basic. So I want that, I want to download that, and now I can go to later steps of editing that model to make sure she's absolutely 100%. I've just changed the positive prompt and I'm going to see what it comes out as this time. So this is going to be a slightly different image, as you can see here. Model is, there you go, in a blue dress in a darker environment. This one isn't as good because of the lighting isn't as accurate as the last one. The last one was quite a lit up scenario, whereas this one's quite a dark scenario. However, it can still be edited to improve the quality of the model. And once again, if you wanted that to be improved, you can simply improve the positive prompt and regenerate. And then it comes out as an image such as this, where the lighting is a lot better and can be edited to a higher quality. Right, so you generated this image here on the left, and that is what it came out the software as. Now, the quality is decent, however, we want to upgrade it to a model looking like this, because there's a few mistakes, such as a small light tattoo on that arm, sleeves not quite matching up, this weird logo, you know, belly button looks a bit weird, stuff like that, you know, can be scrubbed up to make it look a lot better. So, what you can do within five minutes, probably not even that, is convert this image to the left into this image on the right. The model looks a lot more realistic. The face is less airbrushed. There's some freckles there. Eyebrows look a lot better. The eye color is correct. And as you can see, the tattoo on the left has disappeared on the arm and the sleeve has been corrected. Now this took five minutes max to be able to turn this image here on the left into this image here on the right. What you can do with an extra two to three minutes is then add a logo onto this image. So as you can see, this initial logo here was awful. We got rid of that, but if you did have a brand or you were trying to promote a certain branding or anything like that, you can then obviously add a brand in, which then linked in with the contours of the t-shirt so that it looks like it's actually on the top. Yes, this is a tier one AI model. However, you can turn it into a tier two just by doing a little bit of editing, which takes about five minutes max. You can then obviously make a tier three model on Stable Diffusion. Now, this is how you would load up the tier three Stable Diffusion to be able to then create AI models that way. This isn't the platform, the platform loads shortly after this, but it is a software that does requ requires a strong computer and quite a bit of education. So if you are not willing to do that, simply stick with tier one AI models, which do actually do the job and people do make a lot of money from them. For example, Emily Pellegrini tier one model made over one mil within a few months. It really is that simple. That is how you can create your very own AI model and everything to do with account setup, marketing, and actually printing cash is also on this channel for completely free. However, how do you actually thrive in a new business model and make sure that you don't sink under the boat? The answer is network, right? And we own the largest community of people that are currently working with AI models, making money, keen to make money, new students, old students. We have it all. This is full of people who are absolutely dedicated to the AI space and especially the AI only fan space. So this community comes with our course. 
Now, the link to our course will be in the description. Other than that, if you don't have the budget for a course, you can learn everything on here for free. But once again, investing in your education, getting the latest updates on trends, especially in a new business model, is going to be the absolute key to be able to thrive in 2024 in the AI space.